Hello everyone, Wildfire56 here, Um tonight we are going to react to the brand new video from Black Chemist. that is the side, uh, I guess, branch of uh, TSU, aka the Scratch Universe. Which is going to be called the Capsters. If I, what did I get? Did, is, is it the Capsters? Is yeah, it? It is the Capsters. So yeah. <laughs> Brangleber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Capsters. Okay. Yeah, I just I, I just said I just checked Capsters. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but it is going to be the pilot episode before, like I guess the uh, the world series. Actual series, series starts rolling. Yes, pretty much. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the pro like the previous like the previous like the previous uh, video, I am with the Nightmare Emperor. Yo, Dex and Gamer Thirteen. Eddie. And Isaac Twenty. I am excited. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <baby. laughs> uh, with that said, we will see you in a split second. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Okay. Yep. Capsters. Capsters. Who's this guy? Hmm, I guess we'll find out. Definitely yep. not Kia. I'm just. <laughs> nope. Oh. Oh. Cool. Planet Earth. Our little personal Wait. space in the Milky Way galaxy. Love it or hate it, this is our home. In the grand scheme of things, our home is nothing more than a tiny pile of stardust in this endless universe of ours. But that's not how it works on Earth, partner. Inside this tiny planet, you got a massive server network that basically creates copies of every piece of land in this blue sphere. In theory, we have thousands of Earth's worth of copies. The main network divides into smaller networks that divide into smaller networks that divide into smaller networks. You get the idea. Yeah, we An get the idea. An endless web. <laughs> All the land that we walk on are called servers. When you move locations, you move from a server to another server. All kinds of servers uh -huh. have their own purpose. Some to live on, some to work on, some to travel through, etc. If you're watching this, this means you've been chosen or by your own choice, yeah. to be born and brought into our little land, our humble abode. Within the Portugal region lies our home, our network, oh. and our servers. Things are quite Portugal. different here. Law still applies, but Neighbors. the system itself is plenty different <laughs> from the norm. Welcome Ooh. to Tuga. In Tuga, nature Tuga. itself defies logic. It is theorized that our home was picked to be a gathering ground for the Desert? almightiest above. Whatever rules above Tuga. Okay. As you can see, we have a vast amount of biomes for you to explore, thrive, and enjoy. Lots of kinds of wildlife. Creatures ranging from tiny crabs to forces of nature like fire-breathing dragons. All wildlife born in Tuga are called capsters. I love the capsters is short for capsule monsters. <laughs> If you're watching this short film, this means you've chosen to be a capster trainer. Your job will be to assist the normal townsfolk oh. and city folk on quests, or any kind of job they request from you. Work your way up the ranks within the trainers, beat gyms, and strive to become amongst to say, the yeah. best trainers out there in Tuga. Yeah. Actually, there, yeah. obviously you won't be doing Pokemon this alone. You'll power. have your own team. You'll be issued your first starting yeah. capster in my laboratory. Yeah, From that point on, you decide how to live your yeah. adventures. Strive to be the best or live an honest life. The choice I mean, is yours, you partner. Both are that will be all for now. 
Similar. Thank you for your time. And once again, we welcome you to <laughs> yeah, Tuga. Monster Trainer games are they're their own category. <laughs> yeah. That's that. The presentation video is over. Hope you two understood all of that, and it's understandable if you didn't. Uh, I am a bit confused, yes. That's normal, don't worry about it. I love what this about you, already. Like the I love it! <laughs> That's great to hear. Now your I like next step already, is going yeah. through that door, which leads to a long hallway. Through it, you'll find a door. That's where you'll be transported to one of the many towns of Tuga. Any questions? Yeah. Let's assume we want to travel to another region outside of Tuga. Can we do that? Yes, but it isn't cheap. Jeez. Exactly. <laughs> Any other questions? I'm nah, good. I'm good. All right, boys. Your lives will begin through that door. Good luck, boys. Thanks! They're good kids. <laughs> also. Ooh. Long corridor. You nervous? Yeah. Like, we're gonna start our lives in a place that seems overwhelming. What about you? Not really. I'm loving every second I hear about Tuga. Sounds like the thrill of a lifetime. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Accurate. Pretty I guess much, that's yeah. the door he talked about. Yep. Whoa. That's freaking bright! Just like our futures, man. You ready to jump in? You mind if we do it at the same time? You know, just in case? <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. Please! Off they go. Yep. Off to Tuga. Oh, hey. You made it. Cool. You too. Must be a waiting room or something. You good? I'm dizzy. Must have been the teleport thing. Mm. You saw the name thing pop up, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we should have our names. I hope it worked. Probably did. We had a name and even a bonus for a nickname. Dude, like, I don't want to walk around with a name like... Beanie. <laughs> 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 hey. Great names, right? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Coming from the guy who called himself Top P. The last P is silent, and it's a legit name. And mine isn't, because... Beanie. Um, I like I, that. I, I don't even know what to I start like with that. You. I mean, <laughs> Beanie. You're naming yourself after a piece of headwear. I like cute. Yeah, and so what? I wanted a cute name, because coming up with a legit name bored me. Fair enough. All right? Fair. Fair enough. Yeah. But I ain't calling you that. You will soon enough. <laughs> the ass whooper. We'll see. Already eager for your first capster <laughs> battle, I see. Oh Howdy, hey. boy. Wait, weren't you the professor on the recording? It is. Yep. I showed up here because I was told we'd been getting new trainers in town. Two of them, to be exact. I'm guessing that's us. Hopefully. Well, well, well. Wait, isn't that- The soldier from the room! Turns out the two boys back huh? at the conference room were sent here. Welcome to Saladia, boys. I am Mayor. Mayor. Did you travel safe? No nausea, dizziness, anything? I feel fine, honestly. I felt dizzy, Doc. Those are normal symptoms since they're not used to fast traveling. Don't go anywhere just yet. <laughs> I'm going to get your gear. That man right there is basically the chief of security in town. VA sees the name of the company. I am Professor you. Born and raised in Tuga, biology, science, and teaching are my things. <laughs> Capster's my game. The entire pleasure is ours, Professor. Yeah. I'll be guiding you around town for the morning, getting you acquainted around the place, telling you boys the POIs <laughs> and where your designated homes are at. You two are boys, right? Uh, yes. <gasps> I mean, come on. We are man, Professor. Man. <laughs> he got the joke. <laughs> Well, boys, what are your names? My name's Top. The last P is silent. All righty, then. What about you, soldier boy? <laughs> <laughs> I'd call you that, but standards won't let me. <laughs> Just call him Beanie, Professor. 
Yeah, let's play it safe. <laughs> this makes BB sense. and <laughs> Tom. With names like that, no wonder you two already have chemistry. Thankfully, Ass Whooper is just a nickname he picked. One day I will be called that with utmost respect. You'll see. Hopefully on live television. Here. <laughs> your PDAs and contractors. That would be funny. Hey, yeah, <laughs> PDAs are a part of your ID and your main of, tool to be used on servers. Uh, foreshadowing? And these are modified contractors, made for capture <laughs> trainers. Like the professor here will teach you all you need to know in the mm. meantime. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. As always. <laughs> I'll see you later, boys. Thanks! Thanks. Again! Again? <laughs> Alright, boys, follow me! <laughs> oh yeah, because they were there earlier this night. Hey, look! <laughs> oh, what the? What? You all suck. What? The? <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside. Birds no. are singing, flowers are blooming, <laughs> and on days like these, kids like you should be burning bright with spirit. <laughs> First, we'll head into uh, our local clothes there. shop so you I can see, get yourself I, I some think gear. We, ju we just uh, see. We, uh, we see. This what here's you did the shop. There, Let's go. Nice. Pretty much. Nice. And I know why the soldier's called Beanie, because they're going with that meme. <laughs> Soldier, I <laughs> <your head>. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Carvalho, bon dia. Bon dia, Rosa. Come my voice crazy. Fun, boy. Look, I'm bringing in the two new faces in town like I told you about. Oh, you're the new boys in town, huh? Welcome to Saladia. Professor, what's this lovely lady's name? Rosa or just bros? Just as beautiful as a rose. Also quite thorny <laughs> as a rose. Beanie, you alive, boy? Oh, oh my god. god. It's perfect. <laughs> Miss Rosa, I would absolutely love to purchase this incredibly valuable brimless cap that you call a beanie. Dude, that cannot be a coincidence. <laughs> A beanie called Ass Whooper? <laughs> Seriously, how? Just as the gods have intended me to have my name be Beanie with a nickname of Ass Whooper, this headwear was also made to be a beanie with the name of Ass Whooper. <laughs> the gods <laughs> must like poor jokes. <laughs> yup. Like joke. Yup. Magnificent. Magnificent. You can get that one for sure. It's literally calling for you. Have a look around, fellas. Get yourself some clothing. <laughs> How are Duchess and Hotshot? You know Duchess. Duchess. She's always cranky, busy, late. They have a lot of places to take care of. You know she appreciates your dedication here. <laughs> Good oh. morning, Hoser. Is a... Hello! New uh, sort of fire. Morning, Duchess. Uh -huh. New fellas in town. This is gonna make me look so fancy! Keep it to yourself, buddy. I'm the one that's gonna look like a million bucks over here. I see. I hope you know that this won't be free. Just put it on my tab. I'll pay you back with another exterminator job at your weaving mill. Grand. And speaking of grand... Oh my what god. What a grand sight indeed. Goodness. My goodness! I do wonder if I can... Bleh. Denied! <laughs> the only thing that is grand around here right now... ...is me! Beanie Ooh. the Ass Whooper! <laughs> you two look nice. And you look fantastic. Uh, uh, the entire dust suit to the legs of a trainer for those caxters. Thank you, I wasn't you, talking to you. I was talking to him. <laughs> also, the beanie looks good on you. Thank you, madame. <laughs> All right, what boys, let's get going to my laboratory. I saw that. <laughs> I owe you one, Duchess. Remember, when you get a weaving mill problem, give me a call. <laughs> Say hi to Hotshot for me. Sure thing. Best of luck to you. Was that oh. Carver? Yes, it was. There are two new trainers in town. Hey, that's nice. Dear, be a dear, and add another favor to the list. Another one already? Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 
Marcus has a line with him at all times. <laughs> oh, bom dia, Carvalho. Oi, bom dia, Malta. Eu vou supor que a juventude que leva vão ser sinal estudantes, certo? <risos> claro, Zé. Isso nem se pergunta nesta altura. Jovens, sejam bem-vindos a Celária. <risos> obrigado, <risos> Yeah, obrigado. You fellas are talking good Portuguese already. Still gotta practice mine. You'll be all right. Give it two weeks and you'll know how to flow. Two weeks only? Hmm. Alright, where I sign up for that class? <clears throat> I mean, it's not really meant to be realistic. I'm guess... back with the boys, yeah. Frederick. <laughs> there they are. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I am Friedrich. But for the Frederick. sake of clarity, you can Frederick. call me Frederick. I am the second in command in the science division of Solaria. The pleasure Ooh. is ours, Doctor. And if you couldn't tell by now, I'm first in command. Anyways, <laughs> let's get you started. Not to brag or anything. These are the three most recent capsters I caught for you. <laughs> Not at all. Starting with this little fella. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Dryconiac. A fire dragon, oh a species God. known for being powerhouses of physical power. Sorry. They can dish out great damage <laughs> I, with their just, claws, uh, feet, uh, heads, and yep, teeth, and can learn many just, strong I, I, fire I, I, attacks. I, 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 I just love Unfortunately, dragons. they're also I, I known for dragons. being quite, <laughs> let's say, thick-skulled. <laughs> <laughs> However, this is a fail-safe. Their brains have to ensure they don't lose control of their power, as when threatened, angry, or serious, their brain will wake up, doubling their power and intelligence, Ooh. becoming true forces of nature. Train and tap into this species' potential, so and you will become a force then. to be reckoned with yourself. Interesting. This is a Shriper. <laughs> and no, that wasn't me mispronouncing the word sniper, as if I were eating some food. These are a somewhat uncommon species to find in the forests. Oh. They are loners, but with great intelligence and battlefield awareness. They use their territory to their advantage, creating makeshift weapons, trinkets, and traps using nothing but what Mother Nature has to offer. These bad boys are more of a jack-of-all-trades, nice. so... If you're struggling with a team composition, you can always rely on one of these fellas to help you out. Hmm. A jack of nice. all trades would certainly be a nice addition to any team. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh. Hell. And this oh. is a Pyrask. Wielders of hydrokinesis. Water magic. A rare sight to find. Unknown. They're known for being very intelligent capable of living in civilizations of their own deep below the ocean. They have harnessed and mastered the power of water itself. Nice. This particular fella just randomly waltz up to the surface near one of Solaria's beaches, where the marine biologists were at. Communicated with us with gestures that he wanted to be of use to Ooh. us people. So I took him in for a lucky trainer to have. Remember that one, Frederick? Yes, Carvalho. How could I forget seeing this specimen from one of the most territorial and dangerous species just vaulting into our camp? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, having one of these in your team will be an adventure itself. You might even find yourself like learning that. along with them. They're very loyal and caring once tamed, but taming ain't needed with this one here. Nice. That's all, fellas. You get to pick one of these three to be your main so companion on your journey. Known by the looks of you two, I think I nailed the three choices stars. this time. Nice. This time, uh -huh. you did. Take your time, fellas. But not too long, because we still got some work to do. Don't worry too much about these choices, because you'll probably find more of these fellas out there in the region. But still, choose wisely. <laughs> your starter will always be special. Yep. Heard you crystal clear, That's Professor. True. I've already made my that decision. True. Who'd you pick? The Pyrask. <laughs> then he's all yours, Top. Unless Beanie here wants to say something about it. He loves the fire one, doesn't he? Yo, Beanie! You good? Hmm. I think if you want the Pyrask, we can rock, paper, scissors for him. Best out of three? Thanks, Top, but no need. I already made my pick the moment I saw him. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. <laughs> it appears I must collect him by my guests. You and me I both, like Doc. That. I noticed the shine in the boy's eyes when the dragon showed up. You want the dragon? And just like me, Professor, the Draconiac has the same too. shine in his eyes. That might just be because he's a dragon, man. Glowing eyes are a thing, you know. I understand your point. I feel called out. Are you willing to put yourself through the toughest of journeys with <laughs> arguably the hardest one to train and bond with out of the three here? Yes, I am, Professor. I welcome a challenge in my journey. Hey, now. I ain't cheaping it out here by having the most intelligent guy here of the group. Okay? I want a challenge, too. Loud and clear, boy. Are you boys settled on your choices? Yeah! Bush. Bush. There's always next time, mate. All right, boys. Step right up and greet your new companions. Hey. Do you understand me? Oh, yeah! You ready to embark yourself in one hell of a journey to be the best freaking team in this freaking world, man? All right, put him here. Yeah, let's do this as a team, man. Freaking brotherhood! That's cute. Can't believe we're freaking doing this. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I was waiting for you to finish. I need him to listen to me well, with no distractions. Draconiac! <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to switch? Can't do it now, partner. He's made his choice. He's overstimulated from the laboratory's noises. Ooh. Really? Well, I'll be damned. He figured it out. Nice. Yep, Easily distracted. Oh, there. Probably a short attention span. Not a problem for me. <laughs> Buddy, I need you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say. I want to embark on an adventure on becoming the best capster trainer in the world of Tuga. But I can't do it alone. Do you know why? <laughs> because I need you, buddy. <laughs> Together we'll form a team and become the bestest of friends. I saw the we'll effect. overcome all obstacles and we'll kick a lot of Capster ass, <laughs> including his. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now. Can't do that, boy. That's illegal. I was just playing. <laughs> I meant his team. There are people out there that don't believe in you because you look stupid, weak, or loud. But guess what, buddy? I don't give two buckets about that. I know that you have the potential. I can see it in your eyes, buddy. <laughs> you and I are going to make this world realize that stupid does not actually mean stupid. Some people do not believe in your kind, but I do. I believe in you all the way, buddy. But, in the end, it's your choice. I won't force you into my team if you don't want to. If you want to join me, touch my hand. I won't ask you to shake it if you don't know what that is. I can teach you. Oh. Wait a minute. No? Why is its brain active? Ooh. Oh. Aww. I got my answer. <laughs> Sweet, adorable. Thank you, buddy. Oh. Ah! Head is stupid. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like His way of saying one? you're welcome. <laughs> you see in this, Fred? The darn boy's a dry cognac whisperer! Yes! Oh, oh, perfect! Oh. Nice! You got your dragon? Oh, I got my merfolk. I say we're ready to go, Professor. Uh, you my bet your heart ass. Is Here you go! Oh, Thanks, Hydro. I love me. Yeah. Oh, me? You probably have a name already, but think of this as your code name. You know, for the team? Those are their capsules, now owned by you boys. 
Don't forget, you two boys are my students, so you gotta be into class tomorrow morning, so me and Frederick can teach you the many subjects of being a capster trainer. Now, get your asses out there and have fun for the time being. Yeah, we Hell will! Hell yeah. Must... Cool. Both cylinder. The music. Uh. Ooh. This is it, buddy. I this is our first step into the world. We're doing this together. Yeah, I don't recognize us anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Oh, I got shivers. I, I love them. Oh, I got sh I got shivers. I already like this one already. <laughs> Very good so far, yeah. <laughs> the wild is going crazy. What? <laughs> And that I was it. Literally just holding onto my seat myself. You know? <sighs> like I'm literally. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. There was okay. So many things. Let's talk references. Undertale. Sans. Yeah. At the beginning, <laughs> but sa but change your last sentence. Well done, like yep. for that first one. <laughs> second, uh, second was well, obviously Pokemon, Pal World. Um, I'm I think I'm, I'm I don't think I'm missing anything. Like for and then well Monster obviously Monster. the 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 last music that is from Monster Hunter World. Was it World Arise? World Arise. I don't know. I never yeah. played Monster it Hunter. It could uh, it could it could yeah. also be Monster Hunter Three uh, Thry. The Mo the uh, Moga I Village. One, so. I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, Cole, what do you think? Uh, it's a very good start. Like you said, it's got the whole Pokemon vibe here. But yeah, it's got an, uh, enough of its own flair to it, especially with the whole G mod, uh, well, Scratch Universe thing, I should say, uh, side story. Mm -hmm. Seems like we probably won't see too much of the other story in here because this world seems a little uh, self contained, isolated. It was a little hard to get to the other ones. But there is... Yeah. The, 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 uh, Black Emers did say you, we might... We might see some uh, familiar ca characters in this series. We might. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, it'll be Thank interesting to see how oh. that goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Texan, what do you think? I like the I like the idea like the, what uh, with what he was able to conjure up with uh, with the whole whole thing in SFM and what he's able to like bring to the table. And again, it really did bring Pokemon vibes just with Tia mm -hmm. too. And yeah, pretty much. This yeah. is gonna be a me. It, this is probably gonna be a me personally thing, but I feel like if it was if it wasn't attached to Scratch Universe, then it would and be its own different thing. Then I think I think it would work on its own. It that's really, so, yeah. it really do, yeah. But that will that will yep. be up to Bla it will be up to Black Emus at this point, because yeah, it, I, I think I think from what I saw, like from what from, like from what I saw, at least when it comes to statistic, uh, this video, like at least the pilot is doing fantastic so far. From what I see, oh yeah, it is doing. Fantastic. So maybe something that you, that Texan that ju that just that I just mentioned, it could detach itself maybe from the, the Scratch Universe and be its own thing. That is up to you. But honestly, I I, I would also I would agree to it what he said. To how good is the video is doing? Like the, the pilot is doing. There is a possibility. Yeah. Up to you. Isaac? Oh, but where to start even? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I was holding onto the chair the entire time because how excited I got. Everything has so much personality. I enjoy that so much. Everything mm -hmm. is filled up 
<laughs> to the point that every little character has their own little personality, and they all have their little flair, everyone feels so charming. And then you also have the... the like, the, the creatures here that are supposed to be like the Pokémon of the world and stuff. Yeah. Even those look... Ex even those have personality themselves. Everything mm -hmm. is like... Even to the, to the point where, like, he, um... Hydro ca catches Top's, uh, like, fear, like the, uh, Contain Union. Yeah. When he catches it and then gives it to him, that's already has personality as well. And even, <laughs> and even, like, just, uh... <laughs> I, I, lo I love him, okay? I, I, I love him so much. <laughs> the dragon's the most adorable. Oh, yeah, the water <laughs> yes. and I, lo I, lo I love, I love it already, I'll be honest. So... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, when it comes to when it comes to uh, when it comes to me, um, again, big Pokemon vibes, uh, black Pokemon power vibes. I think that was the idea. I, th I think that was the idea. But and also, well, Ash Ketchum being the scout. I don't know if you guys uh kind of saw that yeah, yeah. Bad, a bit. Yeah, they, they very much saw that. <laughs> they, they a bit. A bit. <laughs> and now, I'm not going... more snarky. <laughs> I'm... Definitely more snarky, yes. I, I, was... That's just scout in general. <laughs> that, that's a scout in general. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to 100% like the soldier and the draconian. Because... They seem to, to have like bonded like so quickly, and the fact that Bingy knew how, what to do with the Draconian to get his attention, like right off the bat, yeah, looks like that is that, that is basically no brain. That is basically no brainer. Though one yeah. detail that I saw and I really like what you did was with the sniper. Like what? Like for the wall, like gra a grassy appearance. Like no clipping, n like no like invisible th like parts that you can that we can see. That is clean. And just the fact that, mm -hmm. like I think it was like from the, um, oh, like from the uh, from the elbow, like up like down to the hand. I don't know what you use for that, but honestly. Really nice, because I actually, I actually don't think I've ever seen that on SFM, but that might just be me because I haven't just seen it forever. I don't think I've seen any of that kind of. I don't think I've seen that kind of cosmetic either, either. And I've scrolled through, scrolled through a lot of the SFM workshop and things mm -hmm. outside of it, but I don't. But I'm pretty sure he found a way to like figure out, and, yeah. you know, make do with what uh, you have. I mean, that something that, yeah, something that I can see that what he could have done was had the command to like from the elbow down to the hand to make it invisible and replace it by basically like what we what been used uh, was used there. Like that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. Um, Maybe, but other than that, the fact that at the end. You put the monster under theme. That that brought me goddamn shivers, because I think out of I think out of the four of us, me and Cole played Monster Hunter the most. And yeah. oh yeah, that is like th that brought me shivers. Like that the fact that you used that music in this. That brought me absolute shivers. <laughs> um, do you guys have anything else you want to add up? Uh, not for now. Oh, that's right to mind. I'm just Isaac? excited to see the next bits of this. Oh, you know, hell I'm just, yeah. I'm literally bouncing on my chair. Yeah. If I here right now, you guys would have been seeing me bouncing on my chair right now. I would be bouncing <laughs> right now, up and down, up and down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, kind of what, what you said, well, how you saw me, you know, kind of like you saw me, but uh, <laughs> reacting to it is just like, yeah. I'm so eager for the for, yeah. for, for what's next. I am so eager for what's next. <laughs> 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 but this is where we are going to end 
uh, the video. That's where we're going to end the video. Um, if you, well, if you liked it, don't hesitate to drop a like. That will that will greatly be appreciated. And if not, well, thank you for like again, thank you for 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 taking a look. Uh, <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet, because and to turn on the notification to know when I have something else to, uh, in, in stock. Um, but with that said, me and my and my boys are done here, and we will see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>